Hi there, my name is Will, and I'm going to walk you through errors and retries in Kestra. Now, it's important that we gear our applications up to handle failure. It is inevitable. So what we can do is use error handling to make this a little bit smoother and notify us when things go wrong. In this example I've got here, we're using the errors property similar to the tasks to be able to execute some additional tasks if one of our actual tasks fails. So in this example, we've got a shell script that's gonna exit one that will cause it to fail and that will trigger this errors block to run, which is super useful because that will then trigger a Slack notification using the webhook to let us know in Slack. So really good for being able to monitor what's going on. You could also use like an email or another application to notify you. Um, so really, really helpful. If I execute this, we can actually see in the logs that it will fail and then it will alert us on Slack. Now the Slack one fails because I haven't got a webhook URL set up, but you can see that because it failed, it tried to send us a notification on Slack. Uh, on top of that, we can actually also set up uh, a retries example here as well. So you can actually have your flows automatically retry as well when they fail. This example here uh, is going to try this task five times uh, with two second intervals between attempts and it's gonna run it for a maximum of one minute um, before it fails automatically. Now the shell script that we've got for this specific task is going to fail the first four times and then the fifth time it will pass. So this error block at the bottom will not actually never execute because it will never fail the task fully. Um, this retries property is really helpful. We can put it on any task we like so that we can handle, have a little bit more control over what happens if it fails. So if I give this an execute, we can actually see here in the logs that it fails and we can actually see each attempt it makes. So this is attempt number two uh, and we can just watch here. It's gonna kind of still failing on three, but when it gets to attempt number five, it will successfully pass. And um, we can see that here. And we can actually see that it took a little bit of what, a little bit of time, but we can actually see each attempt as well. If we want to dig back later and figure out why it failed on those attempts um, and what we can do to sort of mitigate that further. So really important on how you can sort of handle errors in your flows and do automatic retries to make your flows uh, automatic and handle themselves.